Bonjour tout le monde, c'est Monsieur Bergman avec uh, partie 2 de le passé composé. Okay, so we have already done our lesson with our when no, it is not a Dr. Mrs. Van der Tramp verb. Then we use the subject with the verb avoir, and then we add the pelti si passé, the past participle, and do that. For example, if I played uh, video games with my friend, it would be j'ai joué au jeu vidéo. Okay, and we're going through those steps. So this time we're going to look at if it is a Dr. Mrs. Van der Tramp verb. Yes. Okay. So um, you do not need to memorize the Dr. Mrs. Van der Tramp verbs. We have this list right here. Okay. So here's the list of Dr. And Mrs. Van der Tramp verbs, and the most common one is the verb aller. So in our example here, I went to the mall. That is the verb to go. I went somewhere to go. So that is the verb aller. Okay. So that is going to be our most popular Dr. Mrs. Van der Tramp verb. So now if I go back to my uh, passé composé cheat sheet, okay, we are going to follow the steps. First step is the verb Dr. Mrs. Van der Tramp. This time we. Okay. Yes, it is. So we're going to follow this arrow down to the verb être, okay? So now we need to look at my subject, and my subject is uh, I went to the mall, okay? So right here, uh, we already have our first step. It's going to be je suis. Our next step is to look at our verb and to change it to the participe passé. So this step does not change if it is Dr. Or Mrs. Van der Tramp or not, okay? Oh, the ER becomes excellent aigu, IR becomes I, RE becomes U. That is the same for our Dr. Mrs. Van der Tramp verbs, okay? So nothing has changed there. We are going to uh, add this in here. Le, je suis allé. This is the part that changes with uh, the passé composé with Dr. Mrs. Van der Tramp verbs. There's this third extra step called la called and what that means is we need to look at our subject which is je in this case and we need to see if it's feminine masculine pluriel or feminine pluriel okay so it's me i'm saying i went to the mall i'm masculine so i don't have to worry about the e and i'm not plural i'm not more than one person so i don't have to worry about the s so if i am saying i went to the mall i can just say je suis allé and it stays the same uh, unfortunately, uh, girls in the class, uh, you're going to have a little extra step to do, a little bit of extra work, um, and we are going to have to do that extra E, je suis allé, to make it feminine, okay? So, je suis allé au centre d'achat, you went to the mall, okay? One more quick example, let's say uh, I'm going to be a girl in this case, and I'm going to say me and my friends, a group of girls, went to the mall, okay? So, I'm going to say... Uh, moi, me and my friends, moi et mes amis. And notice the ES on ami means it's all a group of groups. So that is our subject. Remember that me and my friends are moi et ma famille. That represents nous. So the next thing that we need to type in here is using our little passé composé cheat cheat going down. It's going to be some. Moi et mes amis, some. Now we go to our next step, which is the same. Um, allez. And now let's look at our last step, la called. Who are we talking about? We're talking about a girl and a group of friends who are all girls. So this subject is feminine, so we need to add the extra E, and it is also more than one person, so we need to add the S. So it's moi et mes amis sommes allés au centre d'achat. Okay? Remember, when we are writing in French, when we are speaking in French, Use simple structures and keep our ideas simple, okay? Um, there is our little example on how to use the passé composé with Dr. Mrs. Van der Tramp, okay? So use this cheat sheet. Watch these videos a couple times to get the hang of it. And as always, let me know if you have any questions and send me a private comment on Google Classroom uh, if I can help you out, okay? Bonne chance. Au revoir les huitième année.